actually in machines everything is about contradiction okay so basically contradictory statements will be right in machines okay for example previously we have seen a problem in the end I, so I told you that if you have 2 mm air gap out of 20,000 mm iron okay so no load current is forced to be increased to increased by 25 percent okay now the situation is like you know should I have more air gap or less air gap by this conclusion basically we can think of air gap should be less such that air gap should be leased such that what will happen in order to get the same flux no load current or current uh, to be injected to develop that particular flux to produce that flux will be less now let me tell you the contradiction point for this okay for example you are driving your bike on open road how much noise it will be noise will be less for example if you are driving the same bike through the tunnel noise will be more what does it mean for example if you convert that from their uh, nature to our machine terminology if this is stator and if this is rotor okay so this is rotating this is rotating this is the rotor now in between these two if air gap is more even though it rotate noise will be less if air gap is least noise will be more noise will be more now you tell me should i keep more air gap or less air gap okay so there are these are like you know two contradictory statements kind of air gap should be least possible because in order to set up some amount of flux current to be injected should be less by our previous problem so air gap should be least but from noise point of view in order to reduce the noise content means air gap should be more so air gap should be less is also right from like you know current point of view air gap should be more is also right is also right from noise point of view so means in order to understand machine we should understand contradictory statements properly similarly i have taken two problems now okay so means uh, in these problems in one problem i will prove i will show you that flux density should be constant in our previous videos also i told you flux density is not a term to play with okay so flux density is not a term to play with so flux density should not be uh, varied flux density should be constant but means if in the exam if the question given and actually this is from old IAS question okay in the question given if he ask you like you know a question such that if he is trying to uh, change flux density you don't have anything to say in the exam because in the exam we cannot like you know ask anybody or we cannot fight in the exam that's why I have taken two contradictory questions here now in this particular question this is voltage gate question basically in this question the vol uh, the low voltage winding of a 400 by 230 volt single phase 50h transformer is to be connected to a 25h the supply voltage should be now means same equation actually we derived only one equation till now that is v equal to root 2 pi f b max ac number of turns okay now first of all as we discussed previously we should understand whether the given problem is design problem or operating engineering problem just read the question again okay so if you see this particular question means there is nothing like design at all but it's operating engineer uh, problem because for the same transformer he want to apply for example 230 volts said he want to uh, reduce the voltage to or uh, sorry for uh, 50 hedge like you know for 50 hedge transformer he want to reduce the frequency to 25 hedge okay so frequency is varying and transformer is given so it's a operating engineer problem now in operating engineer for example if you consider the same equation if you consider number of turns can i vary number of turns as an operating engineer no can i vary area of cross section of the core of an operating for an operating engineer no root 2 pi anyway universal constants okay so if i rewrite the equation now this equation is going to become b max b max directly proportional to v by f but we have to keep it in mind this is as operating engineer only we have to keep this point in mind okay as we discussed previously flux density is not a term to play with okay so normally if chance is given to us okay in this problem frequency is reduced to half frequency is reduced to half and he is asking how much voltage variation should be under that condition for example if frequency is reduced to half if i can reduce voltage also to half such that flux density can be maintained constant okay so in order to maintain because we have machine sense actually normally people say common sense no we have machine sense 
from machine sense point of view p max should be maintained constant in the sense voltage should be reduced to half so answer should be 115 volts now let me take complete contradictory problem complete contradictory problem previous problem is from old gate and this problem is from old IAS okay now in this problem a 4 kva 230 by 115 volts 400 h serial 230 by 115 volts 400 h single phase transformer he is about to use to get 115 volts from standard 230 volts but frequency is reduced from 400 to 50 400 to 50 okay again actually here in this question overloading of the device is not permitted basically many people especially in Delhi and all people feel this okay now means overloading of the device is not permitted people feel it's the keyword but it is not the keyword because for example if a machine is given 10 kva machine is given to me okay so if 10 kva machine is given means anyway i'm not supposed to go or i'm not supposed to load the machine beyond 10 kva okay so overloading is not permitted will be there in any way problem okay so 10 kva given machine i'm not supposed to work with maybe 40 kva or 50 kva i cannot uh, take from 10 kva designed machine okay now coming to the point let us think of see here voltages frequencies okay in the first case what they have given means 230 volts by 115 volts first case and in the second case also 230 by 115 only 115 only so for example 230 volts by 115 volts in the first case at a frequency of 400 h okay and now what is the kva of the machine is going to be 4 kva okay now in the second case in the second case try to observe very seriously okay otherwise like you know misconception will happen here now for example means in the second case means in the second case same they are trying to maintain 230 volts by 115 volts but frequency is reduced to 50 h so from the first case frequency is reduced by eight times eight times now he is asking how much is the capacity now I will tell you what is kva for example kva capacity okay voltage and current now what is voltage rating between first and second is same what is current rating will be will have to be same why because of course clearly they mentioned overloading of the device is not permitted so current should be same anyway we have machine sense that overloading should not be permitted in either case so voltage are same currents are same so output should be 4 kva only 4 kva only now people start thinking no sir like you know flux density is directly proportional to voltage by frequency already just now we derived this we discussed this so in order to maintain flux density constant if frequency is reduced by eight times voltage also should be reduced by eight times so if voltage is reduced by eight times for a given current kva capacity should be reduced by eight times no we should not think that way because yes we have common sense or machine sense that flux density is not a term to play with that we have seen in our previous question but in this question what is happening voltages are same frequency he reduced already in the question so if he maintain voltage same and if he reduce frequency flux density will be increased for example if frequency is reduced by eight times for the same voltage flux density will be increased by eight times what to do okay so in this particular question he is trying to play with flux density now in the output kva voltage multiplied by current only voltage is same frequencies oh, sorry voltage is same and the current is also going to be same under that conditions kva should be same but inside the machine flux density will be increased by eight times now one should not ask me like you know no sir flux density should not be played with yes it is true flux density should not be played with but in this particular problem he is playing with flux density because for example if I, if he given a chance under that conditions I will try to maintain flux density for example if the question given is like this frequency is reduced by eight times and if you don't give voltages in the question okay so if you don't give voltages in the question 
and then if you ask how much is the kv capacity then uh, means like you know my machine sense will come into picture such that if uh, frequency is reduced by eight times voltage should be reduced by eight times in order to maintain flux density same under that conditions if voltage is reduced by eight times voltage is reduced by eight times current is going to be same kv should be reduced by eight times but now this is going to be complete contradictory in this particular question he is trying to play with the flux density okay so for this question we should not say it is going to become over fluxing okay yes it is over fluxing yes flux density is getting increased what should i do okay because he himself decided voltages he himself decided frequencies also frequency also so my kva capacity depends upon voltage and current only independent of frequency if frequency is varied flux density is going to be varied but it's okay what to do because the particular question is given that way so compared to previous question and this question if you see in our previous question okay we have the chance we had the chance to maintain flux density constant so by our machine sense we try to maintain flux density constant but in this particular question he is not allowing me to maintain flux density constant so means let uh, my machine have over fluxing okay let my flux density increase by eight times but i cannot change the question no and inside the exam i cannot fight with anybody saying like you know i have common sense or machine sense of flux density should be constant but flux density you are varying like you know in interview we can fight but in exam we cannot fight so let flux density increase kva will be same so answer will be this